finding the x-intercept, y is equal to 0. Now, we don't have a y. We have an f of x, but they're interchangeable within one another. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this equal to 0. So I'll say x squared minus x minus 2 equal to x minus 3. Now, we cannot solve for x when it's in the denominator. So what we're going to do is we're going to get x minus 3 off the denominator by multiplying by an x minus 3 on both sides. Okay. Well, x minus 3 divides with x minus 3. And x minus 3 times 0 is just 0. Now, so basically, when you're finding the x-intercept of a rational expression, you're going to do this every time. But if you don't want to do this, you guys can know a little trick. You're really just setting the numerator equal to 0. That's really what you're doing for a rational expression. So do we already have this factored? Yay, that's what we did at the beginning. Thankfully, I did that at the beginning. Now I just solve x minus 2 equals 0, x plus 1 equals 0, x equals 2, x equals negative 1. I prefer that you guys write these as coordinate points, 2 comma 0 and negative 1 comma 0. Okay. Um, over here, if I want to find the y-intercept, yes? Tylana, what would you do? That simple. Right? So uh, now we're just going to set x equal to 0. So I'll just, again, replace the f of x with y. And I'll just say 0 <coughs> squared minus 0 minus 2 all over 0 minus 3, which gives me y equals positive 2 thirds. So then I'll write that as a coordinate point, 0 comma 2 thirds. Okay.